Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to this computer aided engineering drawing course. In this, we will start with projection of points today. And uh, here we will uh, cover the projection of points in various quadrants and all that. Before that, I will just introduce myself. I am Dr. B. Gurudath. Former Professor and Head, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Bangalore Institute of Technology, Care Road, Bangalore 4. Presently working as Professor at the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Nitte Meenakshi Institute of Technology, Elanka. Okay, you have, you will have uh, this type of off, offline video help files for all the chapters, right from projection of points till this development. This will be very useful for when various universities, autonomous institutions, VTU, etc. Okay. Now we'll start with projection of points in various quadrants. So here, now projection of points in various quadrants. First, we'll take the first quadrant. And I'm telling you here, this first you understand this first quadrant. Because this first quadrant will continue. Uh, from other chapters. Now we will introduce you with various quadrants. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant and all that. But first quadrant concepts are very important because when we take the other chapters, it is all in the first quadrant only. Okay. Now you see, first we will do projection of points in first quadrant which is very important from uh, the subject point of view as I have said. It will continue in other chapters. See here. Please understand here. This is the vertical plane. Okay, we'll start from the basics here. This is vertical plane called as VP. This is horizontal plane called as HP. Okay, this is VP, this is HP. This plane and this plane are perpendicular to each other. The intersection of VP and HP is called as XY line. Okay, please understand now on VP, on this is VP and this is HP which are perpendicular to each other. Okay. Now you see here, let us say there is a point here in the space. If the point is in the space, you can clearly observe this point P is 40 mm. Can you see this? 40 mm in front of VP and it is 60 mm above HP. Can you observe this? This point P is 40 mm in front of VP and 60 mm above HP. This is the point P. Okay. Now, once you locate at the point P, when you look from the front view, this is the observer. You please observe this observer position. Observer position from the front view is this way. That means how the observer will see is he will look at the he will look in the direction perpendicular to VP. Okay, and get the front view. That means when you look at the direction perpendicular to VP, your front view of this point, front view of this point, you get it here. Okay. And the observer position in the top view is like this. Observer position in the top view is like this. Observer position in the top view will be perpendicular to HP. Okay. Perpendicular to HP. Okay. Now you see here. An observer position in the front view is like this. If the point is here. The point front view, you will get it P dash here. And when you are looking from the top view also, the top view of the point P, eh? P you will get, top view is the front view is always designated as dashes. Top views are designated without dashes. The top view will get here. The important thing here is how the dis uh, distances have to be transferred. That is important here. Now you see here, the point this 60 mm, if this is HP, if 60 mm above HP now, if this is 60 mm above HP, if this is 60 mm, this is also 60 mm. Correct, no? That means, if the point is 60 mm above HP, the front view P dash, you will get at a distance of 60 mm above X y line. That means, this will be 60 mm. Can you follow? In the same way, if the point is 40 mm in front of VP, if this is 40 mm, this is also 40 mm. 40 mm in front of VP, no? P. Then top view, if you get here, this should be 40 mm. I think it is clear. Please follow. The point is P. 
you are expected to write front view on top view of the point. This is called as projections. We will start with the simple things. Nowadays, yeah, we'll, uh, in this space, we will put points here. Later on, we will put lines in complex positions. We will we'll put plane surfaces in complex positions. We will put solids in complex positions. In that way, it will go on. The basic concept is this. Please follow. The point is P, which is 60 mm above HP, 40 mm in front of VP. The point is in the space. You are expected to write on front view of this point and the top view of the point. Front view of this point is obtained on VP and the top view of this point is obtained on HP. Okay. Then P dash. P dash where you should get VP, HP, XY line are drawn. From here, the front view has to be drawn 60 mm above XY line. Then since this is 40 mm in front of VP, the top view has to be drawn 40 mm below XY line. Okay. In that way, in the, if the problem is in this way, draw the projections of a point P, 60 mm above HP, 40 mm in front of VP means you draw XY line like this, this XY line, fold this plane, okay, make it horizontal, this, uh, uh, this VP, because you are writing it on a paper, A4 size sheet, uh, you are taking the printout. In that way, above XY line, if you observe, it is VP, below XY line, you have HP, you draw this, okay. And the print view is here, this is 60 mm, that you draw 60 mm here. And the top view is P here, that is 40 mm, draw 40 mm here. And call it as print view and top view. This completes one simple problem. The problem is, point is 60 mm above HP, 40 mm in front of VP. In that way, you have got one uh, projection. How to start is, draw an XY line, draw VP, HP, that is above XY line is the VP. Below XY line, we have HP. Print you where you got you, right? Since 60 mm is above HP. In my, here afterwards, you remember this way. Any distance above HP will be parallel to VP and can be seen on VP. Okay. 60 mm above HP is parallel to VP. In that way, any distance above HP parallel to VP, you should remember. That is why 60 mm, you write it on VP and call it as P dash. Then you draw the projector down, light, light line. 0.13 thickness, don't darken this. Okay, you draw one line, projection line, and draw P, that is the top view of the line. Okay, top view of the line, that is a point. Another one point here, one point here, P dash and P. In that way, print view, top view is completed. You always remember, any distance above HP is projected on VP. Any distance in front of VP is parallel to HP. As a result, it is projected on HP. Please remember, I am repeating, any distance above HP is parallel to VP and projected on VP. Any distance in front of VP is parallel to HP and is seen on HP or projected on HP. That is why, once you see this point, okay, P dash and P, this is the projections of a point P. Looking at this itself, you should say, 60 mm means, it is the distance above HP. Okay, because it is seen on VP. And 40 mm means, it is a distance in front of VP, that is parallel to HP. This is parallel to VP. In that way, the simple problem is completed. Now, you see here, the same thing I have just done. Uh, okay. Uh, this, uh, this plane, no? this VP, HP plane, I will just fold it in this way. This XY, VP, HP. This is VP plane. This is HP plane. Since you are doing it on A4 sheet and all that, this plane can be assumed to be infinite. Okay so that you can accommodate any big objects here. Okay, you just write XY line. Above XY line, the entire thing is VP. Below XY line, entire thing is HP. In that way, this is the point P dash. This is the point P. Okay, in that way, front view and top view of this simple problem is completed. Now, concept of rate profile. You see, yeah, slowly, right now, I have introduced you with only VP and HP. Okay. I will introduce with right profile plane RPP also. You see here, this, please be careful. From here, you have to be careful here. These are all the basics which will go till the end of this course. Okay. Now, you see here, point P is here. Same way as that, we will observe. Okay. This is VP. This is HP. This is right profile plane. Can you see this? There is another plane, right profile plane. Now, the point P is here. As per this, how much it is above HP? 60 mm above HP. 
how much in front of we pay it is 40 mm in front of we pay how much it is from right profile plane this right profile plane this is 50 mm okay i'll repeat six the point p is this point p is this it is 60 mm above hp 40 mm in front of vp as you see here and 50 mm from right profile plane please observe this is very very important concept what you can never forget in first angle projection system you are always looking at the object first that is the point or plane or plane surface or line or whatever it is you are looking at plane uh, that is object first and then the plane okay in that way observer has to look in this direction perpendicular to vp good to get the front view perpendicular to hp first you meet the object and then the plane here also front view also meet the object and then the plane okay perpendicular to hp to get the top view and see here when you want the side view of the point that is another view of the point you can't look from here you have to look from the, this position observer position here you have to meet the object first and then the plane as a result you see here you have p dash front view here p top view here and p double dash which is the side view here since you are looking from the left direction that is left view you find it on rpp this you understand that is why this is a point p which is 60 mm above hp 40 mm in front of vp 50 mm from rpp since the principle of first angle projection is you have to meet the object first and then the plane you are looking in this way to get the front view that is p dash you are looking in this direction to get the top view you are looking in this direction compulsorily because you have to meet the object first and then the plane to get the side view okay now you see here xy line okay then xy line if you draw that is the intersection of vp hp if you draw this line one more line that is the intersection of rpp and vp you see here rpp and vp another line i have drawn x1 y1 here now 60 mm above hp print you what you already done 40 mm in front of vp okay that is already done that is p dash is 60 mm above hp p the top view is 40 mm in front of vp print you top view is drawn and you have to draw the side view only side view as you know x1 y1 line where you have to draw is since this is 50 mm this is also 50 mm that is why from x1 y1 line you draw 50 mm because x1 y1 is the intersection of vp and rpp as you see here this is 50 mm from rpp this point is 50 mm from rpp that is why you take 50 mm from here then p dash and p you got and draw this projector at 45 degree line meet this and go you get p double dash okay this is the left view of the point also you know left view if you even without writing this 45 degree line also you can draw the left view uh, because you know left view this distance has to be how much if this is 60 this has to be 60 that means you take a distance 60 that is a projector from here and as you know here this distance is 40 you know in front of vp if this is 40 this is 40 this is also 40 from x1 y1 also 40 that means this distance is 40 and this distance anyway is 60 in that way also you can draw the side view okay that is why you take 40 here and cut here on this projector you get p double dash since the distance in front of vp is projected here okay okay what i will do here afterwards to get the side view is i don't bother too much i'll draw one 45 degree line once you draw 45 degree line if you draw this way it will create an imaginary square no this is if this is 40 45 degree line means this is 40 means this is 40 automatically this 40 will be transferred here you are getting p double dash okay in that way whatever is this distance you will get it here this is the projections of a point p 60 mm above hp 40 mm in front of vp and 50 mm from rpp we will continue in session 2 of projection of points okay thank you viewers thank you my dear friends and students we'll continue in session 2 thank you